Destiny 2 is a game that has been around for a good long while, and yet it might be one of the most difficult games for new players out there to approach that I've ever played. Thankfully, D2 also has one of the most hardcore helpful communities, hands down. There are a ton of valuable community created resources and websites that I use every week without fail. And even though I'm usually 99% sure that everyone knows all of these handy tools already, I will frequently get people coming into my live stream and saying, whoa, what the fuck is that you're looking at? Give me the link right now. Smooth plug, by the way. Yeah, I do stream. You goddamn jabronis go there and drop a follow if you haven't yet. Anyway, today I'm going to show you what I consider to be the top 10 most helpful resources for both new and veteran players alike in D2. But before we get into all that, question, do you want good tasting and healthy meals that can be delivered right to your front door? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fortunately, today's video is sponsored by Factor. Shout out to them. Factor's chef created meals are fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium science-backed nutritional quality. No joke, Anna and I have been using Factor for quite a while now. Next week, I have the Tuscan shrimp headed my way, and I'm kind of hyped about it. Their shrimp dishes are almost always my favorite. Best part of Factor by a mile, no mess, no prep. Factor takes the stress out of meal planning so meals can come together in literally minutes. They even have keto, low-cal, vegetarian, and vegan options on the table. And look, I love to cook, but hey, we all get busy. I love that two or three nights a week, I just don't have to worry about shopping, cooking, food prep, or cleaning. Factor covers all of it. Their menus are updated weekly and include 27 plus meals and 34 plus add-on options. Pick what you want online and they will ship it right to your door. It's that easy. Don't wait and use my link below or go to go factor75.com and use promo code pogfallout60 for a whopping 60% off your first box. Again, that is promo code pogfallout60 for 60% off your first box. Thank you, Factor. All right, back to the content. First tool on our list is a go-to for me that I am constantly referencing in any video where I go over PVE-related damage buffs. I'm talking about Quartz Comprehensive Data and Info Spreadsheet, or for short, Quartz Doc. Quartz Projects is a community member with an unbeatable Excel game, and he put it to use by putting together one of the most monster spreadsheets I've ever seen in my life. If you've ever thought to yourself, hey, how much damage bonus do I get from X weapon perk? Or, hey, do these two damage perks stack together? This document 100% will have the answer. Detailed info on every subclass sandbox in the game, info on every piece of exotic armor in the game, damage reduction stacking formulas, court has it all. If you're wondering, my go-to tab though is the stacking guide tab, which contains a quick cheat sheet of what the strongest buffs and debuffs in the game are. I used to be a hardcore PvP only player, but when I grabbed gradually began to incorporate more and more PvE content onto the YouTube channel, Court was invaluable in helping understand what stacks together, what doesn't, and how to maximize my PvE damage potential. The document just contains unbeatable information for new and veteran players alike. I'll go ahead and link his document and everything else that we talk about today down in the video description. Grab it, bookmark it, follow him on Twitter. Resource number two. In a similar vein, we have the OG spreadsheet, Massive Breakdown. Once created long ago by a dedicated Destiny player who some of you know, Mercules, who now actually works for Bungie, Massive Breakdown is literally the original spreadsheet for PvP players. Every weapon in the game organized by weapon type with comprehensive info on damage per shot, each weapon stat, and of course, optimal time to kill info. Yeah, there are other websites out there, which we will get to, that can show you all intrinsic weapon stats too. But I really do love how Massive Breakdown allows you to compare tons of weapons all alongside each other at the same same time. Big number geeks like me will always have a soft spot for Massive Breakdown, and I hard recommend that you save it somewhere. Resource number three, if you're a new player, this is mandatory for playing D2. Any website or app that allows you to pull weapons from your vault or postmaster, no matter where you are in the game, I will give you three options. Destiny Item Manager, Ishtar, and the official Destiny Companion app. I personally use Destiny Item Manager, but all three essentially do the same thing. New players, listen up. I legit do not know a single D2 player who does not use one of these three apps. Flying back and forth to the tower is exhausting, especially once you've hit endgame and have acquired a comically large amount of gear. Vault management apps are essential. I'm going to speak mainly to Dim again because that's the one that I use the most. Want to change your loadout on the fly? No problem. Make a really effective loadout that you feel good about and you want to save it and then re-equip it later with the push of just one button? No problem. Want to comb through your entire entire vault in one second looking to see if you have any weapons with kill clip or whatever the f perk it is you're looking for that day? 
no problem. On the unbelievably rare chance that I speak to a veteran player who tells me that they don't use any kind of item management app, which has only happened maybe three times in my career, it always ends the same way. I twist their arm unbelievably, they try it for one week, they come back and tell me they are now converted for life. Do not play D2 without some form of item management app. There is literally zero reason not to. Tool number four, D2ArmorPicker.com. I really wish I could sit down in a room with the folks who have made this website because I do have a couple of suggestions I wish I could throw their way just because I'm mainly a nitpicker. But for what it was designed to do, D2 Armor Picker is top shelf. Link your account and use D2 Armor Picker to comb through your entire inventory with the single goal of putting together a beast loadout. A lot of D2 players in both PvP and PvE are always trying to hit the holy grail of a triple 100 build, i.e. a build where you have three tier 10 stats on your loadout. D2 Armor Picker is by far and away the easiest way to accomplish doing that. It'll show you every possibility based on your required criteria. Fiddle around with the settings and get a better understanding of how good your armor is and maybe what armor pieces you might need better versions of to accomplish your triple 100 goal. When you've got your loadout built on paper, you can literally copy paste the final loadout you've assembled in D2 Armor Picker and just paste it into Destiny Item Manager. Dim will then show you every piece of armor that you've handpicked and you can just put together your loadout manually. Dim and D2 Armor Picker go together like peanut butter and jelly. And if you care about high stat armor builds, which if you're a veteran player, you should, they are both essential. Tool number five, d2checklist.com. There's a lot of stuff to do in Destiny 2, and sometimes it's hard to keep all of it in your head. Enter D2 Checklist, which provides a clean, straightforward list of what you have and have not done in the game that week on each character under your entire account. When new seasons of content kick off and you've entered grind mode, D2 Checklist is a really helpful tool that can help you stay organized and save time. You can also use D2 Checklist to check out what the vendors at the tower have, bounties, gear, etc., as well as fiddle with your own gear and equipment and let you apply little notes to yourself like keep this weapon, shard this weapon, etc. Very straightforward tool that I use routinely when a new season drops. Tool number six, DestinyRecipes.com. Destiny Recipes has kind of a similar vibe to D2 Checklist, but what I personally use Destiny Recipes for is preparing for a new season of content, especially when it is a big content drop like Witch Queen or the upcoming Lightfall. Destiny Recipes will essentially help you get prepped for a new season of content by keeping an eye on the following. How many endgame resources do you have stashed away already, showing which you have plenty of and which you might need more of? How many bounties you've prepped in advance and the overall amount of XP you are sitting on with those held bounties? What weapons are available that you may want to target farm and if you've acquired them yet or not? And your overall level of free vault space, including a handy vault cleaner feature, which maybe I should probably think about using. When Lightfall drops, you can bet your ass I will be using the Power Progress tab up at the top to monitor my gear level across all three characters. Definitely a helpful tool in keeping an eye on what your overall gear level is looking like and which equipment on which character might be falling behind. If you're a really huge nerd like me about efficient power leveling, this tab is a lifesaver during big content drops. Tool number seven is light.gg. Light.gg is a massive vault of useful in-game information, pulling info from deep within the game's API. Do you remember that video I put out not too long ago about the data mined sniper rifle in Festival of the Lost? You can thank light.gg for that info. Not only does Light have data on every piece of gear in the game, they've got it very organized, including what gear, triumphs, mods, perks, etc were introduced into the game per season. When Lightfall inevitably drops, you can 100% bet a lot of money. I'll be heading to light.gg immediately to check out what new weapons, armor, perks, etc. have been added to the in-game API. And even though I mainly use it as a giant database, there's also a bunch of fun features like the God Roll Finder and the Roll Appraiser. Tool number eight is d2gunsmith.com. Even though light.gg is a gigantic database and d2gunsmith only focuses on weapons, I have an unbelievably deep deep love for Gunsmith because of how clean and presentable the interface is. If you've watched almost any video on my channel where I talk about
combat weapon rolls, you will immediately recognize the layout of D2 Gunsmith. Visually very neat, well put together weapon stats and all the info you could ever possibly need per each weapon. I'll very frequently hop onto D2 Gunsmith live on Twitch and visually assemble whatever god roll I might be hunting on paper just to see what the final stats would look like. Gunsmith also comes with a really neat filter system where you can search for certain weapon combos. For example, looking for a kinetic hand cannon that can roll with both moving target and kill clip, just punch that info in and boom, you're good to go. Quick side note, remember Bungie's wave of incorrect in-game bans which were caused by human error? Well, they did undo those bans and they did apologize for that, but one of the people caught up in those false bans was the creator of D2 Gunsmith, who was exhausted by the experience and said he may be taking an extended or permanent break from the game. I don't know if D2 Gunsmith will continue to be updated moving forward. I uh, really hope it does though, because I consider it primo information. Fingers crossed. Tool number nine is Today in Destiny, and really the title of the website says it all. Have you ever found yourself asking, hey, what weapon is currently dropping from Altars of Sorrow? What's the current Nightfall? What's the current weekly raid challenge? Etc. 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 Today in Destiny has got you covered. And even though many other websites have some kind of feature like the following, the vendor tab on Today in Destiny is very clean. Shows you literally every offering and every weapon roll from every vendor in a nice, visually pleasing manner. Bookmark that site, use it if you want a quick answer to what's going on in Destiny today. And finally, tool number 10 is blueberries.gg. New players, listen up, this one is 100% for you. D2 is a fun yet very complicated game and despite Bungie's best efforts, it is kind of daunting for new players to get into. Blueberries.gg is targeted directly at newer players and even though it may not be as deep as light.gg or as endgame useful as D2 armor picker, Blueberries.gg is an excellent starting point for new players to get a better idea on what the game is about, where you should go and what you should do. Explanations of each planet, explanations of each game type, descriptions of your loadout and different weapon types. It is your helpful in-game big brother with no wedgies or wet willies. And even though I'm not a new player by any means, I still find myself checking out the loot tables tab of blueberries.gg from time to time. It's got a really clean display of what loot drops from which encounter in endgame level content. TLDR, veteran players, if you have any homies who are picking up D2 for the very first time and are just feeling completely overwhelmed, direct them to blueberries.gg before anything else. My favorite part about doing YouTube videos like this one, by the way, I am 100% certain that down in the comment section, there is going to be an avalanche of comments like, hey, don't forget about boo, boo, boo. And I always end up learning about even more great resources out there that I can add to my ever growing list. So if you've got a tool, resource, or app that you think is vital to the D2 player experience, please, by all means, share it down in the comment section and tell me why you use it. While you're down there, subscribe to my channel to help support me for free. Check out my Patreon if you're feeling generous or head over to my Twitch channel to catch me live as I stream multiple days per week. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.